this is Mary over here at Image the Page, and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon. Now, I'm always super excited when the Queer Lit Readathon comes along. It is a biannual, I think that's how it says, biannual readathon. It happens twice a year. And it is hosted by Kathy and Rogan, and they always have a guest host. The guest host for this round is Yvette over at Book Cave, and I'll link all their announcement videos down below. They also have some really awesome, like, recommendation videos and Kathy has a couple of A to Z queer lit A to Z videos I would definitely recommend checking out that has her videos have those videos have made my TBR extra long of which I actually did one this year which has probably been my favorite video to date to do although it was the most time consuming one I've ever done um, but it's just one I've been really wanting to do and I will link mine down below but you can always go check out Kathy's over at her channel. Now um, for the Queer Lit Readathon it is a week-long readathon so it is run from June 2nd to the 8th and they have a bingo board of about 16 I want to say 16 challenges um, that you can try to fill. Now you can try to get a bingo if you want or you can try to do a complete blackout you can completely disregard the bingo board if you want. The object of the Queer Lit Readathon is to re read Queer Lit and these are just kind of some prompts to help you get, to help you choose what to read for that. And what is really nice, one book can count for multiple challenges so you don't have to try to read 16 books in a seven day period which if you can do that with I it would be highly impressed. There is a group read, I cannot think of what it is off the top of my head. We Hunt the Dark I think. Um, I'll post it so you guys know. I will not be actually reading the group read. Um, I had picked out my TBR before I knew what the group read was and didn't really want to try to shuffle things along. Now to get to my TBR. The first book I have been excited the minute I heard about it and I heard and it has gotten a ridiculous amazing amount of talk and conversation and hype which I'm guessing is very deserved and I'm kind of surprised I've been able to wait this long to read it because I got it from the library like a week ago and that book is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. Now if you've not heard about this book yet I'm very surprised it's kind of all over booktube right now. So this is an own voices rep for a non-binary teen. Ben comes out to their family as non-binary and he is promptly kicked out where he has to go live with his estranged sister. Um, I don't really know much more beyond that besides it is adorable. I mean also just kind of look at that cover. It looks awesome. It's a senior year of high school and I expect this to break me in so many ways but I am super excited. Now for the challenges or prompts that it fulfills it is own voices which I already mentioned. I, it is see yourself. So for see yourself it is has to have a representation that you yourself also have. I myself do consider myself kind of non-binary so that definitely works for this. It also fulfills new author. I have not read anything by Nason Deaver. I actually think this might be uh, what is the first novel? It's not the first novel in the series but it's like the I don't remember. There's a word for it in publishing world where it's like the first novel the author has written. And since non-binary is considered to be part of the t trans spectrum, this also counts for trans rep. It is a book recommendation. Um, the one I'm going to quote for this is Adriana over at Perpetual Pages. I believe she's the one I heard talk about this first, and I've heard her talk about it multiple times, so I'm considering that, even though she hasn't re recommended it personally to me, she's recommended it to her channel, to her subscribers, of whom I am one. And the last one is the uh, free space in which I'm just making it a contemporary just because I don't often read them so I figured it kind of worked. The next book I hope to get to for the Queer Lit Readathon is The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin. Now this book has been on my TBR for over a year. I bought it sometime last year. I knew it was really big on booktube a while ago. The other season, the other series she wrote, um, the fifth season, got a bit more hype and as far as I know it was considering to be turned into a TV show. I still don't know if that is in the works. Um, but this 
is a fantasy novel. I don't remember what it's about. I was really interested when I first picked it up. Um, but I do believe that this has a sexual representation in it. And so for the prompts it covers, this one also covers See Yourself, since I do consider myself asexual. It is a POC author or main character. Um, as far as I know, N.K. Jemison herself is black. I'm not sure about any of the actual characters since it is a fantasy world it's always kind of hard to tell. Um, but I do know that her fifth season one is very racially diverse so I would be very surprised if this one wasn't. And it also qualifies for sci-fi fantasy. And the last book I hope to get to for the Queer Lit Readathon is called Rat Queens by Curtis J. Weeb. This is a graphic novel. It was on someone's TBR? It's either on someone's TBR or there is also an Instagrammer or bookstagrammer I follow, um, Queer Brainians Comics. Um, she's like a librarian and her bookstagram is, um, she uses her Instagram to highlight queer graphic novels. I might have seen that there, I honestly can't remember, but it looks like this kind of fun, badass woman possibly queer. Um, as far as I know, I don't know exactly what the representation is for this one because like I said I haven't. It, it doesn't say much in the description which I'm totally fine with. Um, it's basically this troop of who kill mythical creatures which sounds awesome. Um, but other than that I don't really know what it's about. So for my... so for the prompts it covers. I think it covers uh, POC author or main character as far as the front of the cover can tell me. Um, one of the characters is a person of color, if not two of them. I do know that the author is uh, white, so there's that, but it might have a POC main character. Curtis Weeb is new to me. I have not read anything by him, so that one will also count for that. I think actually all these, yeah, all of these are actually new authors to me. This also counts for sci-fi fantasy, which I've already technically checked off, and graphic novel, which I had not yet. That is my very technically tiny TDR for the Queer Lit Readathon, although they're kind of kind of thick books, so we'll see. I've been kind of in a reading slump. So we will see how this goes. But please let me know if you are considering doing the Queer Lit Readathon or if you are just planning on reading some queer books. I always love to talk about them. I especially love queer fantasy and mystery novels. So if you know any awesome recommendations, please leave them in the descriptions down below. Or just let me know what you're reading right now. Um, but until the next video, ta-ta for now.